With this bomb, we have now added a new and revolutionary increase in destruction. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor. To end this battle and to return our sons to their desires. Therefore, I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And the people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. Since our country's founding, politics have consistently influenced our culture and society. Nearly two decades ago, one man's political triumph captivated not just our nation's attention, but the entire world's. And his story began in a small town called Hillsdale, Michigan. Hillsdale, Michigan, population about 8,200, woke up to their new mayor this morning. While the vote count is still unofficial, he is settling into office, looking forward to his new administration and the senior prom. The new mayor is in high school. His honor, but you can call him Michael, is a high school senior who unofficially beat the incumbent last night with a write-in campaign he financed with his summer job earnings, going door to door. He's a rare example of this cable TV generation for whom a political career does not seem a loser's bet. Who knows, maybe he'll be the president someday. Michael Sessions, a name that will go down in U.S. history, tied to his name a story of great political achievement. A story that defied all odds. A story that almost all major media outlets wrote about. Amid this media frenzy, questions loomed large about how this teenager pulled off such a feat and what his leadership would mean for the future of Hillsdale. As the town braced for a new chapter, uncertainty lingered, yet hope prevailed. A hope in the belief that youth held the key to a brighter tomorrow. Join us as we delve into the extraordinary tale of Michael Sessions in the town that dared to defy convention. Michael was born on September 22nd, 1987, and moved to Hillsdale not long after his birth. He was born to Scott and Lori Sessions, both longtime residents of the area. 18 years later, on September 23, 2005, Michael would walk into the city clerk's office of Hillsdale and file his intention to run for mayor as a write-in candidate. Using $700 he saved from working a summer job, Michael financed a campaign advertising scheme that included handing out hundreds of business cards, posting 50 lawn signs, and doing a meet and greet in a Q&A at Checker Records. Michael and his friends even went door to door throughout the town talking to people. Some people laughed, others shut the door in his face, but then the mood around the town shifted. People saw that Michael was actually serious about becoming the next mayor of Hillsdale. His campaign eventually became endorsed by the fire department, and he ran on the issue of bringing disappearing jobs back to the city. On November 8th, Michael beat the incumbent 51-year-old Doug Ingalls. And after canvassers recounted the votes, they announced a victory for Michael that came with its fair share of controversy. Michael had beat Doug 670 to 668. Ingalls decided not to motion for a recount, which cleared the way for Michael's November 21st swearing in. This story immediately gained national attention. For two weeks, the whole nation listened in awe to his story. Countless newspapers wrote articles News outlets like NBC and MSNBC drove to the small Midwestern town to film reports. Michael was invited onto the late night show with David Letterman. He made an appearance on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Even Saturday Night Live parodied the story with a sketch where Andy Samberg played the 18 year old mayor. After serving four years as the mayor, Michael announced in 2009 that he would not seek re-election because he believed his graduation from Hillsdale College in 2010 would lead him in a different direction. 
Some highlights from his term as mayor included helping to bring $11 million of investments in factories to the city. He created countless new jobs for the unemployed, and he led a project that focused on rehabilitation of downtown buildings to attract new businesses to the city. In November of 2009, four years after Michael made U.S. history, he would officially vacate his position as mayor of Hillsdale. Days after his election, Michael was quoted as saying, I think the biggest message throughout all of this is that young people can make a difference. They should be taken seriously. In an era where the average age of a politician is just under 60, the story of Michael Sessions serves as a beacon to generations of young people.